Okay, like school students, welcome back. We're on the last question, question number six, on the speaking, uh, the first section of the speaking from ETS book. Okay, let's go over the question first. Okay, here we go. Using points and examples from the talk, explain how the automobile and the radio contributed to a common culture in the United States. Okay, so very first thing that you have to talk about is um, from the listening what he is going over, right? He's ba basically stating what he's going over from the question, okay? He basically explains how the automobile and the radio contributed to a common culture in the United States and he gives reasons for that, okay? Here we go. All right, so he's talking about automobile, like cars, and the radio, like the radio that you see, um, contributed in unifying the country that was previously disconnected, okay? So you're imagining how was the country being disconnected, okay? It's one land, but it's a really, really big land that, you know, we have, okay? Compares to Korea, the United States is a very huge country, okay? So in order to get to, uh, get to from one place to another, it takes days and days, you know, uh, by car even, okay? So um, before that time when they did not have many cars, they had to basically walk from one place to another, and it takes months and months to get there, okay? So it was nearly impossible to get to the other side and get to know others or interact with them, okay? Basically, all the, neighbor, um, the people that you know were your neighbors, and that was about it, okay? And because of that, okay, they had very little interaction among them, among the different regions, and because due to this, the, they spoke differently, dressed differently, and also behaved differently as well, okay? So you can actually see they have other accents, right? Um, you know, the Western accent and also Eastern accents. And also they dress differently as well. And they listen to different kind of songs as well. They behave differently as well. Um, because, you know, they were so far away, okay? All right. So how did they, how did the automobiles and the radio contribute to get them united? We are going to discuss that. Here we go. Let's continue. First of all, in terms of automobile, the professor actually says, ever since it was being mass produced, okay, it was less expensive, okay? Since they had so many cars being made, they sold it cheap, right? And because of that, it was widely available, okay? So many people actually purchased this. And since all the people had, you know, have cars, um, it was very easy for them to get to different regions, okay? Let's continue. And due to this, um, the changes in attitudes and, um, you know, created links which affected behavior, okay? Clothes and speech toward one another, which means that before they were not able to go to different sides to know how they speak or how they behave or what songs they listen to or, you know, what were their clothing style was. But now it was possible and because of that, their, their attitudes changed to one another and they also create links, okay, because of that, okay? Because if you don't know somebody, then you, you are actually afraid. So you actually have different attitudes towards them. But if you know them and if you see them often, then your attitude gets, you know, it's, it's different, you know, than before. All right, very good, let's continue. And second, he was basically talking about the radio and how it contributed, okay? The radio ownership increased, first of all, due to purchasing of cars. Before, the radio was a really a huge, a really big box that was placed at home, right? And everybody turned the dial in order to listen to the radio. Now, it was in, in the car, right? So everybody was able to um, listen to the radio while they are driving it, right? You know, as you can see it from your parents, Hyundai or Kia actually has, you know, the radio in the car too, right? 
So they listen to it as well, and you listen to it as well, right? Um, and you know, while you're listening, you listen to popular radio programs and musical artists. Okay, so um, you know, as you uh, listen to Big Bang or you know K-pops. Okay, um, you know, back then they were listening to all these you know different kind of musics. Okay, jazz style, blues, and you know other styles. And because of that, they were able to understand and get to know about other regions. Okay, and. Um, not only that they were used to the songs, but they were basically repeating the phrase and speeches. Okay, so as you actually you know repeat some of the famous songs by you know any any artists like K-pop stars, um, they did the same thing. Okay, and sim be because of this, they were able to speak um, in similar speech and phrases throughout the country. Okay, so many people actually followed different styles. Not necessarily because they live in that part of area, but they are used to this kind of environment now because they're listening to it. Okay. All right. And lastly, he talks about the news that was covered from the radio. News reports on the radio actually had the same effect. Same news, since they were uh, providing same news throughout the country, um, they were able to share experiences and also the information. Before that, all the news that they were able to hear was, you know, only about the county or the place that they were living near. Okay, now they were able to listen to the, the, the news throughout the country. If there was something good happening um, in the East Coast, they were able to hear that. Or if there is some tragedy occurring, that they were able to hear that as well. Okay, for this question, okay, so you need to answer the question, right? Basically, the, the professor actually talked about how the, the radio and also the car, automobile, contributed in terms of uniting the country, right? So you probably need to state that and also give two of the, you know, two examples, um, you know, talk about two examples and how they contributed, right? Explain about that. Number six question is basically, sometimes it is not, but for this case, it's more like summarizing what was being made or what was being stated in the lecture. Okay, so make sure to um, have clear outlines of what you're going to say for, you know, for the speech and also organize it um, so you can actually answer the question clearly. And then lastly, um, record it and send it to your uh, teacher and get evaluated and you know, fix some of the mistakes that you have made. Okay? Thank you very much for um, you know, um, watching this video. Make sure to watch it again if you're not sure about some of the things and make sure to do well on the, on the TOEFL. We are here to help you out and also you're here to learn. Okay? So do well. All right? So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay,